welcome to CryptoWise. My name is Marvin, and I will be the man for you this episode. And today we are talking about NFTs. NFTs. I want you guys to know everything we need to know about what's next in terms of NFTs. What's the next 1000x NFT? Are you pissed off like I'm pissed off that you didn't buy a CryptoPunk? That you didn't buy a Bored Ape? That you don't have some of these rare collectibles that have done thousands of X's because I am pissed off, but I am into the NFT game now with you guys and I am digging deep to find what's next. What's going to make us the most money next? What are collectors looking for? What projects are getting hype, but are still early enough that we can afford to buy them now? We're going to find out today. Stay tuned. You're going to want to stick around and watch this entire episode. So buckle up because we're about to get into it. If you haven't already, please do us a huge favor and subscribe to the channel. Smash that like button. Click on that subscribe button and click on that little bell. You're going to get real-time alerts when you click on that bell. Very, very important. As well, if you don't follow us on Twitter yet, you need to at CryptoWise Daily. That's right, CryptoWise Daily. And of course, our Telegram group, which is 24-7. You'll find Milton and myself in there. So come on in and join us. And that's at CryptoWise Official. So make sure to join us there as well. Now, guys, today we're talking about a very special subject, a very, very special subject. So that's right. We're talking about NFTs. You know what? I am freaking pissed. I am freaking pissed that people and all these guys are making millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars. And people like you and me, and probably some of my wise guys, some of my wise family out there have made a fortune in, NFT, in NFTs. And I'm just jumping on now. But here's the thing. It's not too late. There are a ton of opportunities that I want to dive into. And I want to look at here with you live today. So people, I don't know. I just want to give you guys a sense of what is actually going on. Because if you're not following NFTs, I want you, I want to catch you up as to what the hell is going on in this space so this is just an example this is an artist people he sold an nft for 69 million dollars that's right 69 million and this is what it was this is what it was 69 million dollars some of the projects we're going to talk about today are in the millions um but those are examples of what i want to show you in terms of how how do we find the next nfts that are going to sell for a quarter million dollars half a million dollars or millions or more how do we source the next and best nfts in that space well we're going to look into that right now so people 69 million dollars now where does it start let's talk about it so there's a couple of really important things that you need to know if you don't already there's nft marketplaces like OpenSea, like rarible okay these are places where you there's many more but these are places where you can go and try to find and search and look at what's going on in the NFT space. Almost everything you want are on these large marketplaces. So some of the biggest and smallest projects you can find here at OpenSea and Rarible. Now, where did this all start? That's the important thing. Where did this all, all start? Well, look, CryptoKitties, and I wanna talk about this just for a second. Because first, let's say, what makes NFT so popular, right? What is it? So NFTs are unique non-fungible tokens that run on smart contracts on the Ethereum or other blockchains, okay? They can be used to distribute assets and verify their authenticity via the blockchain itself. The concept of NFTs originated in 2015 and the first project were launched in 2017. And I'm looking at CryptoKitties here, right? Okay, CryptoKitties, CryptoKitties, these things, I just, Crypto kitties, crypto kitties, crypto, crypto, crypto kitties, crypto kitties. Exciting, exciting. So crypto kitties were one of the first, if not the first, were they the first? I think they might've been the actual first uh, NFTs to come out and be sold. And I mean, this was a craze. If you remember back in 2017, when this happened, Ethereum gas went through the roof. The network was clogged to a degree that we couldn't actually transact almost for a few days because the crypto kitties just went absolutely bananas now if you're looking at today things have changed a bit the kitties are still popular um however crypto punks now crypto punks okay ten thousand unique collectible characters with proof of ownership stored on the ethereum blockchain okay the project inspired the modern crypto art movement now look at these things People ask, you know, I, so I, I just want to, I want to touch on this for a second because I had a debate 
I don't know, it was like three, four months ago. I have a bunch of buddies that are in crypto, okay? And they're big. We're, you know, it's a, it's a group of really serious crypto people. But we've been in it for a long time. And one of my friends said, you know what? I'm buying up as many punks as I can. I'm buying up as many punks as I can. And at the time we were talking about it, these punks, the, the floor, the floor meaning the lowest one for sale, price for sale at the time, was around 14,000. We we're sitting there and he's buying this one for 14 grand. And he's saying, you know what, you should buy this one. And I said, you know what, look at this, man. It's just a pixelated face. How can I pay 14 or 20 grand for a pixelated face? Like I get NFTs. I understand where this movement is going, but I, how do I swallow in my mind? I go home and I go to sleep knowing I paid $20,000 for a pixelated face. And he said to me, he said, you know what? It, you got to think of art. You got to think back of Picasso and the first paintings that were ever painted and what the value of those are today. And when, when we talk about CryptoPunks, he's saying CryptoPunks were actually the first ever NFT. Uh, and when we talk about CryptoPunks, he's saying, look, the value of these is the same as a Picasso. We're just years and years ahead. But if we fast forward 20, 30 years and you look at the first ever uh, NFT, CryptoPunks, these things are going to be worth a fortune. Well, he was right. I was wrong. The floor for CryptoPunks right now, current lowest price punk available, $290,000, 89.69 Ether. Almost $300,000 is the cheapest punk. Look at some of the larger sales, 7.5 million. 7.5, 7, 5.45 million, 3 million. Holy smokes, right? So I look at this and you look at punks and I'm not saying go buy a punk unless you can afford it and you want one. But what I'm saying is this is real. People are making millions and millions of dollars finding the new, the newest fad the, or, or in, in this case, the newest valuable um, object in the NFT space. And so my my thought is we need to find what's next and that's what i want to talk about but here's here's crypto punks on open seas just to give you an idea um there's actually none for sale right now on auction or buy now uh there are no items for sale so there is a scarcity to nfts that and that's part of the whole thing is the sense that nfts are scarce there's only so many punks that were minted I think it was, what was it, uh, 10,000? 10,000 were uniquely claimed. Now, every single one is 100% unique. They all have different attributes. Some share certain attributes. Some are more rare than others, right? Anyways, you know about the punks, but I want to set the stage for the punks and the kitties so that we can move into some other things that I think are going to have a ton of value that I'm investing in today. Now, here's another one that I missed the boat on, but this is very interesting as well and something you probably should know about, and it's the Board 8 Yacht Club, okay? The Board 8 Yacht Club has gone absolutely nuts. Now, Beeple has gotten involved on this. Um, and a lot of celebrities and a lot of important people. The whole thing is people want avatars. They want avatars as a as a badge of honor for their social, for their telegram, for etc. So this is where the whole avatar thing came in with CryptoPunks, with the Board 8 Club and a number of other projects. Avatars are the next big thing that are here right now. All of these board apes are unique as well, right? They're all unique. They're very interesting. They've all been minted. And so now all of, anything that's available is only available for resale. And the same thing goes. Looking at the board eight yacht club, we've got 10,000 items total. You have 5.3 thousand owners. Floor price, 25 ether. Volume traded, uh, 105,000 ether so far. Looking at some of the lowest uh, ones for sale, you've got a top bid of 29 ether, uh, 35 ether. So if you go through here, depending on how rare they are and what you want to sell them for, because once you buy one of these, you can hold on to it and then you can resell it. You can easily connect your account uh, on OpenSea and just and put your NFTs for sale. You can either do it by auction or you can do it by buy now, um, et cetera, and people can make offers to you. So these are all, these are some examples of the board apes that are available. Now, these are actually pretty cool. I love these kind of avatar characters. Um, I'm not buying a board ape just yet, although I think that these are gonna probably continue to go up in value, similar to CryptoPunks. You know, 29 ether for this board ape. I actually really want one, but I, I, I just can't. I can't. I want to find what's next. And so that's why I want to dig into some of the newer projects. Now, Art Blocks Curated is interesting. I think there's a lot of room left in this space, to be honest, guys. I think in Art Blocks Curated, you should take a look. Um, 
Artblocks Curate is the most strictly curated offering in the Artblocks product suite. So there's a number of different kind of suites with Artblocks that you can find on OpenSea in their website. Submissions are made by individual artists or collaborations and approved by the curation board before they go live. And so they have, here are some examples of what's for sale. Okay, but look, there's still entry points at top bid 1.1 ETH, 1.5, 1.8. These are the op, uh, these are the crypto blots. Okay, this is a new curation by Artblocks. And if you look on the left hand side here, you can see all of all of the different segments. Um, there's there's some ones that I think are their singularity. Let's take a look at singularity. Um, Scribbles was one that I felt interesting. So look, you can see what's happening. So singularities are already going up, right? The floor on this looks like about 24 ETH. Here's scribble boundaries. Now these are ones that I'm looking at buying right now. Uh, scribble boundaries, you can still get in. So top bid is two ETH, now 2.7 ETH. Now these don't necessarily, they haven't met the reserve price yet. So I'm not sure what the reserve price is, but you still have opportunities to get in on these at a much lower price than some of the ones, the curated ones that have already taken off. Um, because some of these are just already way past my entry point in terms of what I can, what I'm prepared to afford uh, to spend to get into the NFT game. Cause you don't need to spend a million dollars to make a million dollars in NFTs. You could literally spend 0 0.001 ether or point, you know, zero one ether and get some pretty amazing NFTs that could be worth a fortune in the future. Now, keep in mind guys that, you know, the NFT space, the NFT space as a whole is, you know, I, I do believe that we have a bubble growing in the sense of the value of a lot of these NFTs. I'm, I, I, I'm not, Listen, I've, I'm the guy who's pissed off because I didn't buy them and I think the prices can continue. But how many, I mean, I've got a lot of crypto. I've been in crypto for a long time. But how are people affording this many NFTs at these prices? 25 Ether. How, I mean, when I go to an art shop, they're selling a painting every couple of weeks. You go to open, see so guys are spending half a million dollars like it's nothing in terms of Ether on, on these images, right? But that's, I mean, that's where it's going and that's where it's headed. So I don't think, I think for sure NFT space is going to continue to explode. Don't get me wrong. But in terms of the value of some of these projects, I think are, is likely a, a large bubble forming and we're going to see some price correction at some point. Now, in some cases, you know, CryptoPunks and, and some of these projects I'm talking about, Board 8 Clubs and the Art Blocks Curated, I believe that these can continue to go up for a long time um, and we can see some exponential prices. So I'm looking at this one. I'm looking at buying into Art Blocks Curated right now and I'm actually focused on the Scribble Boundaries ones because they're in a price point that I still think is a lot of money. I mean, $20,000 is the current price on this one. I could buy it now. Um, but I, I could definitely see this do. Uh, I could see this for sale for another 50, you know, 50 to 100 ETH and be in line with, with a lot of the other projects on our box curated already. And, I'm, and it's all about what takes. And these are starting to take. You can look at some of even the much cheaper entry points on some of the new projects, 27-bit digital on Artblocks Curated, also interesting. Uh, top bid right now is just one ETH, right? And so this is a new curation that just came out not long ago, the last week, I believe, that people are starting to take hold of. And I was watching these actually go for even lower a couple days ago. So they're starting to creep up. So we could see these as an example. Uh, right now, it's, you know, top bids in Ether, but it, we could look back in three, four weeks and top bid might be 24 Ether, right? That's a 24X investment. And then you also have the uh, crypto blots that I was talking about. Now, I actually don't find these things interesting. To me, they're ugly, but, you know, to the right buyers, there's obviously a segment there. The prices are already going up one or two Ether. So it's starting to creep up there. Um, but yeah, take a look at that because Artblocks Curator is super interesting. Now, I do want to look at some of the things that are happening uh, some of the newer NFTs that are coming into the game here. And, um, okay, MeBits. Okay, MeBits is, is, is actually one of them that I'm looking at buying as well. Why? Because it was launched by Larva Labs, the same company that made CryptoPunks, guys. So this is their newest project, right? So MeBits, again, in the avatar space, um, owner extras. Check out their website. But here, here it is. Let's take a look at the, some of the MeBits for sale. Um, does this take me to OpenSea? No, it doesn't. Okay. Uh, so you can actually on their website, you can put, uh, auctions as well on their website. Um, and we're looking at some of the bids here, seven ether so far, but I, I want to look at, let's see if we can find me bits 
on open seas there it is um and see what what some of the entry points are so the floor price right now is 3.72 ether guys and so these are i find these actually really cool i think they've got more dimension than crypto punks to be honest now crypto punks was obviously the first right i need to hydrate sorry ah that's very nice crypto punks was the first but uh, me bits is the second project that they're doing and i think they've got more dimension and so it's you know for a punk i could you know floor, what 300 grand or i can pay for a me bit now sixteen thousand. so is there a possibility that this five ether is going to be worth 30 ether in the next month two months six months absolutely absolutely there's a very good possibility that these things are going to be worth a lot more money than they are today is there a chance that this is worthless uh in 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 a few weeks or a few months absolutely that's that's the risk that we take in this but i want to bring these projects to you because me bits looking at the fact that they're the same guys that did crypto punks they've already got forty eight thousand worth of ether uh traded now this is important to keep in mind when you're shopping where are these beeps coming from it's important to keep in mind when you're shopping uh for nfts you want to look because there's so many nfts guys there are so many nfts so you want to be careful one of the first things you want to look at when you're on OpenSea is how much volume is traded. Because you might find a project that's cool. If it's brand new, fine, there's no volume traded. Fair, I get it. But if it's been around for a while and you're seeing uh, you know, pricing and you're seeing no volume traded, well, be careful. It hasn't taken and you'll be stuck with it, right? But here I'm seeing 48,000 Ether traded. We've got 5,000 owners and there's 20,000 unique MeBits, which is double the CryptoPunks. Um, but, uh, yeah, so this is one that I'm looking at. I think I'm going to probably pick up a couple. I missed punks, but I want to be on their second project. And I think, look, top bid up is one ETH. If you can grab one of these minimum uh, bid is four. If you can grab one of these in this price point, I think there's a really good chance to make a lot of money. So I'm going to grab one, uh, of the me bits. It's on my list too. I just haven't done it yet. Here's another really interesting project for you. Okay. Now this uh this is called proof of beauty okay and this is their hash project they've got a few different uh collectives now proof of beauty is interesting because it's focused on documenting and celebrating the history of the ethereum blockchain proof of beauty's first nft series hash allows users to take personal and historic blockchain transactions and then and turn them into a beautiful nft artwork from Vitalik's first Ethereum transaction to Jay-Z's crypto first crypto punk purchase. So Jay-Z's got a crypto punk. Uh, Proof of Beauty's algorithm integrates the transaction metadata into the color palettes, shapes, and textures. Proof of Beauty's second series, London, is a sold out collection. So they've got a, a couple of different series. But looking at looking at this one here, which is the hash series. So here, here's an example. The first transaction on the Ethereum blockchain put into a piece of art called the uh, momentum of ethereum's birth on august 7th 2015 uh, an eth presale participant sent this amount of eth to a fresh address um, and so they've taken that metadata and, and, and put it into this uh, piece of art uh, which is cool and you so what, what is also interesting is you can actually uh, do your own hash you can put in your own transaction um and create a piece of art or you can you can just click feeling lucky and it will take a random transaction from the blockchain and create a piece of art now this is taking on volume traded 524 ETH. this is something that's really taking on you've got 5600 um minted already but here's the thing when i think of nfts i think of scarcity and the fact that these are being minted and minted and minted and i don't think i haven't read but i haven't found any sort of limit on any of these which is the reason I'm not buying them because to me NFTs is all about scarcity and so yeah would it be cool to have if, you know if the top ones that are like Ethereum's first blockchain or Vitalik's first transaction or Jay-Z's freaking you know CryptoPunk transaction yeah it's cool I like it uh, and obviously it's taking hold but to me it's all about scarcity there has to be there has to be a limited number available to purchase Otherwise, I'm just not interested. I'm just not interested. So I wanted, I want you to see it. For some people, this is awesome, right? Perfect Beauty Hash. And there's entry points that are affordable. But that's also because you can mint your own for 0 0.007 Ether. 
uh, right now, I believe, right? Like if I'm feeling lucky, I'm feeling really lucky right now. I'm just going to go here 0.08 Ether and I can mint my own, right? Or I could put my own transaction that was important to me. So that, it's a very cool concept, um, but not for me. Now, here's another one that's really interesting. That's getting a, starting to get some some hype. And I think this one is very, very new still. There's 25 uh, Ether volume traded only so far. 1.9 thousand items, 805 owners. It's called Sirens of the Sea NFT. Now, this one's cool. So Sirens of the Sea NFT are made by the board Bananas team, uh, which is another project. And each siren will have a future in-game utility on board Banana Island. Siren on the very own project on Ethereum. So they're a higher potential return than others because they've established the NFT projects where you can actually pick up a siren of the sea for less than 0.1 ETH for a, a common siren. Like, look at this, 0 0.065. So they're coming, they're starting to come up um, in value, but they have a utility uh, where you can actually uh, use on the board banana island, which is the board banana game. And so each of them have unique uh, attributes and utilities. When you go into them, you can check out their properties and on any NFT, you know, show you uh, what's unique about it, what's rare about it or not, uh, and to look at its different attributes. Now, keep in mind, they're all 100% unique. But here's another, here's a project that's start, obviously starting to get some traction it's got a utility in uh, board bananas which is uh, also getting a bunch of traction and we're starting to see the floor price is still cheap at 0 0.06 eth this is a project with potential so a project that i'm that i'm gonna seriously look at now here's a project that's just coming uh also funny and and and, and guys i'm not saying go fomo into all these but i want to bring them all to your attention and because again if they take you're looking at exponential gains. If they don't, you're looking at losing all your bloody money. <laughs> you're looking at losing all your money. So be very careful at the same time. Um, pudgy penguins. <laughs> okay, this pudgy penguin is one of 8,888 sliding around on the freezing Ethereum blockchain. The penguin is an official member of the pudgy penguin community found in the freezing cold Arctic region of the metaverse. Okay, and here's their collection. Uh, here's their collection. So yeah, uh, here's a project. It is sold out, but again, we can find them and we can buy them and, uh, we can take, take a look deeper. Here's Here it is. $27,000 sold the floor price or 27,000 ether volume traded on the pudgy penguins. Uh, you got almost 9,000 items floor price 2.6 ETH. So you can still get a pudgy penguin, a chubby, chubby little penguin for two ETH. Like, look at this Mexican, Mexican penguin, but he's also got an igloo on his shirt. So I don't know, contradictory a little bit, but cool, right? I like it. I actually like this Mexican, uh, Mexican one. Uh, you got a fishing one. Well, anyways, look guys, it is what it is, but these things are increasing in value and the volume on them has been tremendous. This is a project that Milt brought to my attention because I'm diving deep into what's coming next and some cool projects that are coming. I actually, I talked about another one. I'll bring it up again in my last video that you should check out because I did a, I just released a video on new gaming NFTs and uh, I also brought up a new NFT project called uh, Hog Gang in there that I'll show you again. Crypto Dads, guys, Crypto Dads. I actually think this one's awesome. Uh, again, high risk, brand new NFT. You don't know, they've done a great job marketing. Just like a game, just like when you're investing in gaming or you're investing in any project, you wanna look at the hype that they've created, the marketing they've created, the uniqueness to the product, um, and if it's something that you actually like or not. <clears throat> and so these guys have been marketing this really, really well. They've started to build a great community. They've got some merch. They're actually doing a set of beer, I think. Uh, where is it? Where is it? Yeah, here we go. Crypto Dads Limited Beer Run. Um, so they're going to have, obviously, Crypto Dads is another avatar because that's what we're talking about, guys. Um, this is coming out on September 7th. The pre-sale starts on September 7th. There's going to be 10,000 unique art pieces carefully chosen by some of the greatest dads themselves. Also, if you get a Crypto Dad, they're saying that you'll be able to have a free minting of a Crypto Mom or a Crypto Kid when they're ready. Um, and what a lot of these 
guys do or these projects do is they have uh, if you look at their roadmaps they do interesting things right so some of the crypto dads nfts first 20 percent uh will be airdropped to our early adopters and supporters and we'll put a large focus on our social media discord blah 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 uh at 50 percent a twenty thousand dollar donation fund will be established to help awareness community and supporters um and so they're going to be giving to uh mental health men's mental health crisis around the world at 70 percent, you got vip merch everything from hats and beanies blah 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 blah. uh 90 percent community grant fund thirty thousand is launched so they're doing cool things i, I saw uh i, I mean ho uh, hog hog gang hog gang uh which is one i bought yesterday hog gang nft uh these ones i found that i thought they were cool too listen a new project might take super cheap right now um i don't want to go into the discord i just want to look at hog gang uh here they are here these guys are giving away i i think i think it was a harley davidson on their ten thousand. they're going to give away a harley davidson um uh, and in the first thousand which uh is probably gone now uh because they are starting to go um on the first thousand you're going to uh so one person's getting a super rare hog so hopefully it's me <laughs> hopefully it's me pray for me guys pray for me but anyways uh so hog gang is another project right another cool uh project that is just starting to come out and if it takes i mean guys these could be worth a fortune crypto dads i think is a super fun concept and again uh it's starting to take they haven't even launched yet so when it does launch expect these to probably do really well and so these are the types of projects not financial advice you could lose everything and your mind you could lose your mental bloody mind going through this process as well uh, but i guys in the nft space i believe there's still a lot of room for growth and it's and it is exponential growth in time periods like no other and so very very cool meet the dad team here um, so i'm going to be picking up some crypto dads myself okay full disclosure i want to pick them up no they're not a sponsor of the channel nothing like that but i'm going to pick them up because i think uh on the pre-sale on september 7th um i think these dads are going to actually uh, do quite well i think they're going to do quite well now not everything in the nft space is just actually collectibles guys there's kind of a there's a number of components to make money and invest in this space. I've talked about this in some of my videos and Milton has too. There's some fantastic projects in the NFT space that are tokenized that we're investing in or that I'm looking to invest in real soon. And one of the projects that I'm eyeing out right now, I don't have a bag of it yet, is Engine, okay? Now you might've heard of this, a lot of people are talking about it. Engine was founded in 2009 to develop a gaming network. In 2017, it launched the Engine Coin right and began developing a purpose-built blockchain ecosystem for nfts in 2018 engine announced one of the world's first gaming multiverse multiverses and is now has more than 40 game developers using it to create games trusted by millions over 2.3 million wallets already installed 1.1 billion assets created on engine so far um, looking at the tokenomics of this it is doing really well it's up five percent today it's almost back it's almost at two dollars it's at a dollar 97 um, i was hoping to buy some on the last dip but i haven't yet uh, but what looking at it here it's last all-time high was three dollars and 94 cents and to me this is on one of the top projects uh, that i'm looking to invest in uh, during this cycle in the nft side uh, it's got a market cap of 1.8 billion fully diluted 1.9 billion just shy 2 billion but looking at looking at this to me and when i look at uh, what's going on with this project i want to invest more into the nft space i want to invest in the actual nfts themselves that we just talked about but i also want to find some of the best projects to be investing in and um, EN, enj is definitely one of the projects that I'm looking to get a bag of because I do believe we're going to beat its next all-time high and we're about we're at that we're at that point guys where we're looking at projects that have have lagged behind right and and Milton talks about this 50 percent lag behind in the current cycle are projects that we're talking about um projects that we're bullish on of course dot and kusama and some of these really great projects uh in the nft space uh engine coin enj is uh, definitely one that i'm looking to grab a bag of as well now 
I, to wrap this up, I, I'm guys, I'm getting a lot of love for, for showing you some of my live trading that I'm doing. I'm going to be doing more live tra trading. I know we talk about it. we're bringing some TAs on to the channel as well to dive into this. I do have some trades going on in the market right now. BTC is the market has been green, green, green all morning long. Yesterday we saw some dips. I currently have over a million dollars in perpetual long positions. I'm longing dot ether, uh, Filecoin, and Kusama right now. And as you can see, I'm up uh, roughly uh, close to thirty thousand dollars on the day. So it's a good day so far. I'm quite happy about it. But I, I'm I'm very very excited about the nft space and if you guys don't know already we're doing a live show on sunday and we are giving away some very awesome rare nfts this sunday on our live show so make sure to join us there it's at 11 a.m eastern time we are going live milton and myself and we're giving away some amazing nfts so you ha you don't want to friggin miss that guys honestly we love you guys the crypto wise family is growing we are so grateful to have you I really want you guys to get more involved with us. We've got some guys, some guys and girls that are already interning with us. We're growing the channel. If you're a web designer, a video editor, an, an animator, a producer, if you're a content creator, reach out to us. We'd love to hear from you because we are building out the CryptoWise community. The CryptoWise family has been absolutely amazing and your support is great, guys. So make sure to check out my last video, New Gaming and NFT Projects. Just came out yesterday. Uh, that's talking about more about the gaming projects but there's a huge NFT component to that ecosystem. So if you're into NFTs right now, like I am, and you want to dive deeper, you want to learn both about gaming NFTs, you want to learn about the NFT um, platforms like we just talked about on Engine, and you want to look at some of the most exciting up-and-coming projects where we can make 100x, 1,000x potential on these projects. Not financial advice. You can lose all your money. If you haven't already, guys, please do us a freaking huge favor and smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel and click on that bell for real-time alerts. I'm telling you right now, I'm starting to talk about some of these projects. They're going to start to get a bunch more hype as they come along. And as people continue to get into them, you want to be the first. So make sure to click on that alert. And I hope to see you guys all in our Telegram group, as I mentioned, at CryptoWise Official. It's been real. I love you guys very much. We've got a lot of amazing content. We will see you Sunday at 11 a.m. Eastern, where we're giving away some free NFTs.